call the February 3rd, 2020 Berlin Select Board meeting to order. Um, to my far left is Justin Lawrence. Flo Smith is with us on speakerphone, and I'm Brad Town. Also with us is Dana Hadley and Diane Isabel. Uh, additions or changes to the agenda, Dana? I have one addition um, for approval of the select board's minute from January 20th, which is the special meeting. Okay, uh, treasurer's report. Uh, public comment. Hearing none. Treasurer's report, Diane. Okay. Um, I've been told that the annual report, the new annual report, will be ready uh, February 12th. So by the next meeting, we'll have the new reports, and then they'll be distributing them. So Corinna's finished the work on it, and okay. it is at the printers right now. Um, and we talked about the loan for or either loan or bond for the uh, fire truck. They were talking about 535,000. So what I did is I have a contact at the bank, um, the bank that we did with the most, and um, she is the municipal part of it, and she also does she would help the bond if we need to get a bond. So with that being said, uh, she did tell me that they would do a bond for a fire truck because it's a very big purchase, which is like 535,000 yeah. approximately. Uh, but she said they probably would only go 15 years at the most. So that, to me, in my mind, I'm thinking, I don't know what the interest rate would be, but I'm thinking we'd be looking at payments of probably over $40,000 a year, if that's the case. If we decided we want to go with a regular loan, uh, that bank would only go up to 15 years. Now, I don't know. I haven't called other banks. Maybe other banks might go longer, but right now, the information I have is 15 years is the max. That they so she's thinking on. that both the bond and the bank yes. would be 15 the, year max. Right, that's max, because mm -hmm. she said it's possible with the bond that the bond bank is the one that determines you know, how long it's gonna last, and they have a, a you know, formula that they use. Yes. So if they might even tell us, well, we'll go 12 years, but you're not gonna get to 15. So we're really at the mercy of the bond bank uh, as far as how long we can get it. Mm -hmm. okay. But that's the information I received on that. So basically, they're only gonna go 15 years on the vehicle. Probably. Yeah. And for the bond bank to get where we would be, we'd probably have some expense incurred. Yes, we would. Yeah. I don't know how much it this point, but we would. I mean, and it's you know, very time consuming, right. too. But it is. It's yeah. an option. Yeah. You know, and this is a viable option yeah. at this point. That's all that I have. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see here. We usually discuss the um, bridge loan. Oh, did you want to discuss that? Uh, I think sorry, we'll. I, I think we'll talk about it now. Uh, later this meeting, we're going to talk to you about approval of the recommendation of the Public Works Board for the um, Payne Turnpike North sewer project. Um, the Public Works Board has a recommendation for you um, to grant the award of the contract, the construction contract. Um, that would be contingent on final approval by the USDA. One thing the USDA does need is they need to have the interim financing in place. You remember last fall, um, Diane had gotten quotes. I think we got them from three banks. Yes. Um, we had talked about um, a letter of credit, and we've talked about maybe a letter of credit combined with arbitrage. Um, and. We think that the letter of credit is the best option. The, the uh, banks have given us um, rates. We've checked with the banks and they've held those rates, but we weren't ready to go forward until we knew where we were going. Um, so Diane, why don't I just let you go from there? You've okay. got two rates I did, from uh, banks. Yes, uh, Community National Bank um, is 2.05, and Community Bank NA is 1.85. And like I said, I spoke to both of them, and both of them said that they would hold that rate. And that would work, um, basically, is we have to put the mo expend the money, and then Diane would make we a claim against yeah. it to be reimbursed. Right. Um, usually what we do with the letter of credit, we don't incur the debt until she needs the money. So that's what we did with the water project. Mm -hmm. 
Is it, and this is for the sewer line? Sewer line. Yeah. Yeah. There's no other fees other than just the interest? No other fees that I'm no. aware No. Because it so. normally is not. I mean, they're both yeah, very, okay. they're both comparable for whatever it is, the difference. Yeah. But, you know, it's, um, and we've dealt, of course, with both of these banks. Yes. So the, the total cost on that is, on the sewer line is? Uh, was the two million, we've got an approval of two million two hundred thousand. Um, however, as you, when you see that the bid that the Public Works Board is recommending that you go with is one million nine hundred fourteen thousand something. Yeah. And the bridge loan covers how much of that? Um, the bridge loan basically is to cover the immediate expense when the bills come because there's going to be certain criteria that's going to have to happen before we'll be reimbursed. And from the USDA. From the USDA. In other words, I think what we do with the water bond, I think maybe monthly you sent in mm -hmm. um, the request to be reimbursed, and of course yeah. it takes, you know, there's a lag time. Right. Um, so I, I do And basically the, the cost of the whole cost of the bridge loan is covered by that USDA loan. But we can borrow up to two million two in the USDA loan. Hoping we don't have to. But and we did use Community National Bank last time, which worked very well. I'm sure Community Bank and they would work, you know, fine as well. But I don't have experience with them as far as this type of loan. Okay. They would wire the money immediately when you call them. Yeah. They, well, they just put it. They put it right into your check. How long are you sitting on like a debt? It's not in the account barrier. We're not. Interest is slow to accumulate because we're not actually. You're not drawing the whole I mean, thing. You're like months. thirty days, maybe right you know, here and there right. too, right? right. There would be a there would be a cap, but we're you know obviously we're starting out. It's going in increments, right? Which I think is the better and way to go because you're not paying interest. Pay on the, yeah, we pay the right. interest yeah. uh, when we turn it over to the USDA and we pay the whole thing plus interest. Yeah. But that's the way it worked with the other one. So thank you. I just wanted to bring. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't know which one I want to go with, but. Um, so I guess at one point we're going to be asking which one you'd want us to go with so we can get interest rates again? 1.95? 1.85 is with Community Bank NA and 2.05 Community National Bank. And Community National is the one that did it the last time and so I am very familiar with how it works. I'm sure Community NA would be fine as well. So you're looking at what? Point two, point two percent, something, something like percent. that. Yeah. So you wouldn't. I mean. I mean, I think it's, it's million, six of one and a half dozen of another. Even on yeah. two million over the life of the loan, you're not looking at a whole lot of money. Right, and we're not going to be out. We're not going to have that much of a yeah, balance this, for that loan. This would be like a one year out. Yeah. 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 And if it and turns out to be more than one year, then we'd have to go back to the bank and say we want to extend it. Yeah. So it, basically, what you're doing is just borrowing money to pay the expenses before you get the money from the USDA. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and then roll that loan into the USDA. Yeah. Okay. So about four thousand dollars at most. <laughs> for the for the yeah, whole yeah. The I think that's about right. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, anything else on this data? No. Anything else, uh, Diane? No. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Yeah, you're all set. Have a good thank one. Thank you. Unless you'd like to stay and I'll go. <laughs> no. no, no, no. Just thought of that. Okay, Eileen Pelletier. Good evening. Down the street. So Eileen is back. We wanted to talk about the... Um, MOU memorandum, yeah, you are memorandum of agreement. Um, Eileen's office or associate had sent me a draft um, agreement, and and I guess maybe I'll let you explain what what your main purpose is getting this agreement in place. Okay, so we when I came the last time we talked about the project and. Um, that you're a critical partner in the success of the project. And basically this is just a member and an understanding between um, 
the town and the two developers down street and housing Vermont just outlining that you're willing to take on certain tasks that are critical to the success of the project. Um, so the goal is that we would have a memorandum of understanding signed relatively soon um, and that at some point in the future we'd have a more formal development agreement between the three parties. But that's... This is really the precursor to that. It's a precursor yeah. to that, which would come you know, in the future. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it outlines the kinds of things that, that I had talked through at the last meeting, like applying for the new town center designation. And um, so from just clarifying a few things on this document that you all have, nothing really important. I just There's a typo on section three under project goals. It says the needs of law and moderate income, and it should be low and moderate income residents in I mean, I can't believe I did that. I know. But more importantly, um, <laughs> so the abbreviation DHCD can be confused with the Department of Housing and Community Development with the state. So if you can switch all the DHCDs to just down the street, okay. that would be lovely. Okay. <laughs> really yes. important stuff. But while I'm thinking about it, just get that out. Um, but otherwise, you know, we're, we're comfortable with, with Dan's rewrite Was the gist of, of the rewrite? The gist is there, you know, I mean, um, Dan did his job, and it's a little softer than the language that we had put in, but that's okay for now. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking out for the town. Well, I think, important. you know, one of my, obviously I couldn't allow the, well, not allow, but I couldn't suggest to the select board that they promise something you couldn't do. Yeah. Um, Right. So this version of it is really about just being an active partner, like applying for the new town credits and, you know, looking for grants for the sidewalk, which you, you know, you or the bridge over to the, yeah. the elementary school, all things that you're already really working on. So I don't really feel that there's any. I don't, I don't think we're sa we're not things. saying here that we've changed our mind or anything. That's not it. That's as right. It's, it's, no, no, I th and yeah. I think that what it says is all things that we've talked about and that, you know, you're all working on it already, so. Um, and I, it helps us in the funding process to just have the town commit to this. And I did receive back from our attorney um, a few changes, which I just got today, so I will revise those and send that to you. Okay. And I thought if you don't have objection to this, Maybe at your next meeting, when you have a chance to look this over, yep. you might um, sign it. Would that work for your <laughs> schedule? Yeah, that's fine. Our next meeting, well, it's probably going to be in the 19th, which is a point of say. Okay. Because the um, uh, President's Day is the 17th. Oh, right. Um, and you would want me to come to that one? If, if you would like, um, yes, you, of course, you of course can. Um, but I did want to just give a few uh, quick updates since the last time we met. So we have applied to the Vermont Housing and Finance um, Agency for the low-income housing tax credits. That application was due on Friday, and we did submit it. Um, so adding this to the application would be helpful. Um, and we also are... We haven't quite signed on the dotted line, but it looks like we have a grant for a consultant to work on the child care. It's through Let's Grow Kids. So that consultant will basically take the lead on getting to the point of an RFP for the project. They'll consult with us around design stuff immediately because we're already well on our way towards design discussions. Um, but they also will do the RFP process to engage, the, to essentially get a new operator. And we've had some interest already, um, just kind of you know, some local operators are saying, oh, what's happening? We're interested in that. Um, and then lastly, we met with the, you know, I'm not sure what you call it, is it a design review committee? The, Who did we meet it's, with? You met with the DRB. The Was it your re design review board? It's the development review board, development but yes, we know board. who you mean. That's mm -hmm. what I meant to say, yeah. development <laughs> review board. Different towns have different names yeah. for it. Um, it had a very positive conversation with them. We did sort of talk through, because of the new town center designation, hasn't happened yet, there aren't specifics around design elements for it, so we were kind of saying, what do you think you're gonna want? I mean, mm -hmm. we will actually go through the permitting process before that's completed, so you know, yeah. I guess in theory we could ignore that, but we're trying to be thoughtful. Um, so I think it was a really good conversation, right. um, and I think we're pretty much on the same page as far as- So you're just starting with your design 
plan. We're not um, really starting. We're more than starting. Uh, you know, we, we've engaged an architect. We did. We had an architect um, that we engaged last fall for several months to do sort of conceptual. Mm -hmm. um, now we've engaged the firm that will actually do the, the full design, and they're sort of starting from those conceptual drawings and trying to get more specific. We have the, as you know, we have the elderly housing going in over yep. there, yeah. and it would be nice if they kind of... Oh yeah, so that was a lot about what we talked yeah. about, yeah. is sort of how do they relate. Um, so, I mean, I think everyone agrees that we want to connect, I don't know if you all know what the, what the um, senior housing is going to look like, but it will have that like portico thing that all <laughs> in, so there'll be a drive up and parking on the road, yeah. or you know, right off yeah. the road. Um, so in a set, and we will have, we'll basically be directly across from that are sidewalks. So there'll be one place, um, you know, where people would cross. And I can imagine, you know, you would want to have those yellow flashing light that can go off. We talked about street calming, you know, yeah. people coming off of 62. We really want to be able to slow, we all know how quick mm -hmm. that traffic goes now. How do we slow it down? Um, we'll likely um, not have parking in front. You know, we'll have the tree line, because um, we've got a hill, we've got a little bit of a steep uh, slope there. So we'll have the incline and then the building, the parking likely will be around that. But we're still playing around with the parking element. And part of that is related to uh, having a better understanding of the child care traffic flow. So that's you know a new thing for us as developers to think about. Um, our architects, I will say, are in the process of completing a significant child care in um, the Burlington area right now. So that's, they have great experience with it, but apparently it's a walkable community and there won't be, most of the kids will be getting picked up by parents walking, which is interesting. So there, yeah. But we are assuming people will be driving. So it's just thinking through that with residents, parking, how do you manage the flow? of everybody mm -hmm. picking up at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock, right. you know, those kinds of elements, <laughs> which is why we need that um, let's Lots go of people the coming kids and going. consultant, yeah. just to make sure we get that stuff right. Yeah. And to have some separation, obviously, right. between right. the residents and the child care. So, you know, there's a lot of design elements to this one that are a little different mm -hmm. to make sure, because there'll be a pretty clear separation of the, the building between the child care side and the residents upstairs. So lots of pieces to that. This is the, sort of the hard part, but the fun part to figure out what it will look like. And we're still debating between three and four stories. That was another thing I talked to them about was whether or not we wanted to go with a larger footprint, lower building. Mm -hmm. Because of that incline, um, the, is, they have a height requirement, did they mention? Yeah, that we're yeah. not, that's not that's an issue. Not an we issue could do all. the four stories. It's more from a design, you know, thinking yeah. about coming off 62, sort of what do we want that to look like as we come in to this, you know, hopefully new town center with the mall looking very mm -hmm. different and having buildings on the other side and having this road. It's kind of a gateway entrance, right? So we had a lot of kind of conceptual, mm -hmm. what's your, do you want it to look like a real downtown where everything's right up to the road or, you know, do you want to be pulled back? So it's those kinds of conversations. And of course it will change because hopefully you know, the next project will be something else, you know, down the road from on the senior center side. Maybe somebody develops that lot and they'll have different requirements. But just trying to create a concept for that space. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting. I think it's a really exciting project. And then the last thing um, I'll mention is that um, the governor, you know, will be announcing the municipal grant awards yes, next week here yeah. in Berlin. And it's my understanding he may be mentioning our project and the other project. So mm -hmm. I've, I've been invited to go to that meeting. So, right. <laughs> so that's great. And that's the one I told the board about. It's February 11th yeah. at 1 o'clock at the hospital. Just thought I'd get the plug in. Yeah. So he does, he you know, he, he does yeah. his little <laughs> public things for municipal grants and, and other right. state grants and stuff. But he's, he's doing it in Berlin, which is great. Mm -hmm. It's a good nod and good... Um, Know, good some pre good press for the project. Um, we also have decided at this point that we are rebranding the project <laughs> from mm -hmm. our perspective because we've been calling it the Berlin Town Center project. So um, there was much discussion. It looks like we're going to go with Fox Run is going to be the name of the housing. Quite the conversation to decide on that. But I wow. think 
Yeah. That must have, that's a big decision. Yeah, well, we really feel like it's important to, to rebrand this so that it's not the new town center project that the, that the yeah, town great. is doing. Mm -hmm. So um, we went through a lot of different names. I had someone that. give me a long, was here an hour, telling me what it should be called. Oh, believe me, there was yeah. more than that. We had a lengthy conversation because they're beautiful <coughs> hemlocks, right? And there was some interesting calling it yeah. hemlock, but yeah. <laughs> if you've read, you know, Romeo and Juliet, that might be a little bit of a challenging name, right? Yeah, didn't go well for them. Yeah. <laughs> but you had to be of a certain age to appreciate that that was maybe a negative connotation. <laughs> um, what did so you say? Did, Fox run? Yes. So. So I'm basically here to just share that update, say we're okay with the MOU, and then just answer any questions you have on it, if you have any questions on any of the details of it. I, mean, I think, I, like as I said, I think we talked through the, the concepts at the last meeting. Yeah. Well, we haven't really had you haven't really discussed it yet. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go over because uh, Rob just got his two cents on it uh, today. Okay. So. Well, I'm happy to come back on the 19th. But I'll put it on the agenda for next yeah. time. Okay. And by then, I've got a few changes to make that Rob pointed out. I should be worried yeah. something, and so, so I'll He's do that and send it out. Yeah, and I'll send you a copy. Okay, okay. that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eileen, for all of your efforts. Oh, you're welcome. Thank yeah. you for all you guys do. Yeah. Appreciate it. Maybe you won't have to stay too late tonight. I know. Not I too know. Bad. It isn't. <laughs> good night. Yeah, it all depends on Mr. Walker here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dana. Uh, class four to class three. Yeah, you had mentioned to me that you'd like to have a policy regarding um, changing a class four status to class three status, and there isn't a lot of towns that I could plagiarize this part because it really doesn't exist in many towns. But I did get some points from a few towns, and I did this. I wanted it to be simple, and you haven't seen this, but I'll make a copy of it for you. Okay. Um, um, I wanted to uh, have it stated that it certainly is still a state statute. There is a procedure yeah. in the state statutes that um, mm -hmm. uh, how to go about by a petition article um, having a road status change. And then I thought uh, the next that I would what I think, and obviously you need to approve this and think about it, but what considerations will the board look at for road to be have the status change? And I would say it would be development of dwelling places. And I stole from another community about safety considerations and public good, necessity, and convenience. Yeah, I was going to say public safety is a big one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the last, as far as seeing a year of acceptable service prior to his acceptance of a Class Three highway, I thought that was a good a good time to give it a chance to, if you really want it to go forward. So um, that's really the only addition because I got that this was a policy you must have seen the Class Four road policy that hits on the Class Three changes from a Class Three or a Class Four to a yep. Class Three. Yeah, the select board does. Right, and it's pretty much what you would basically, said other basically than adding a year to see how. I think what this does it it um, it just puts it as a separate policy, so it's easier yep. to instead kind of, of being come to. A, yeah. Yep. Did you did you need this? Did, did I didn't give that to anyone? Did you didn't get that? I don't believe. I think I saw it in the, in uh, on the agenda. Maybe you may have put that on the agenda. It was on the agenda. But I did. Not I, saw, the, I saw it there. But not this. Yeah. Let me copy it for you. And you all know I'm here just because I do live on a class four road, and it is uh, has been an issue. Definitely not a topic of conversation. Though. Has been a topic of conversation. And, and, and you know, and I don't know if um, you know, if I should bring this up now. I know there's not a forum here, and we can't make any decisions. But I didn't know if Dana, you did brought up to uh, Brad the uh, letter from the uh, 
fire department? We do have that. And we, yes. We do in the... In the we, have, we have it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. um, I was thinking that it was going to be going... Uh, and I, I, and I, I think that's what I've incorporated. My thought of, like, recommendation of the fire department is the safety considerations yeah. um, in, in that. So um, that is certainly a yes. part of if you're talking about your road. Correct. Yeah. You know, and that's what yeah. makes this a little different because it's a yeah. little different yeah. here and I, and what, what I need to do to go forward for getting that width widened. Do I just need to go consider it still a class four road? There's nothing changed with it other than you're trying to sand it and maintain it for the winter. I just need to get the width widened from okay. the 16 feet that the board has me at right now and uh, a budding landowner has it flagged right down through at that 16 feet. So there's already been an issue this winter where they've had a, a party going on there and they had cars lined all the way down that road and I couldn't, and if there was the need for a fire truck so, to get down through there, it wouldn't have fit down through there. So I think the first step to doing this, yep. and if, whenever there's an issue like that, would be, well, if it's a class four, it's probably a little different. If it's a class three road, then mm -hmm. you can Obviously, so you can't start parking on a class three road. You can't. I mean, you can't be in the travel lane. I don't think. But, but so, you know. Well, I mean, there are exceptions. I mean, there are exceptions. I mean, and, and that class could be an exception. Road, if we have the parking ordinances during a snow emergency, for example, or right. snow clearing is yeah. is an issue with parking. Um, and I think, but I think it comes down to making sense. I mean, right. you really can't block a road, right. um, yeah. but if you can, you know. And, and I can say that it wasn't blocked to where I couldn't get down through, I mean, squeak down through mm -hmm. with my car. But there's no way that, it, you know, with that width that the select board has approved for me to use down through there, there's not enough width to do that. So do I need to get on the agenda to change my maintenance schedule to uh, you know, I, feet. if I could suggest something to mm -hmm. you, um, this is the first blush that um, we've just started to try and get something so we have something in writing and to do something sensibly. Okay. Um, if Black Road is considered to a road that might be changed to a Class 3, which would then make it um, to go, the town would go by the right of way and, and not an agreement, a private agreement they have with you. You certainly can, you know, I'm not telling you not to go to the board, but I don't know if they're really ready to go forward with that yet. Well, so, so you, what saying is so, um, so what you're saying is you're going to deny me that width and I don't have what the fire department for a year, for, for a year for that road to sit there and see. That's not what he said at all. Oh, uh, well, uh, I no. mean, you, you said don't, you said just no. let it sit. And no, no, work. what he said was if, if your road, if we adopted this and your road, for example, fell into this, mm -hmm. then the town would then use the town right of way mm -hmm. as they needed to to maintain the road to a safe width. Mm -hmm. And your 16 feet would be irrelevant. Okay. Well, so, it would. so that's so that, that's what I'm saying is I'm sitting on this 16 feet for a year or for until when? Like, did you guys sign and adopt that today? Well, we're not going to adopt it today. No, I know you posted. Can't. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, so where do I go from here? You have to let me well, go from here. I don't think I have an answer for you when it's going to happen because they're going to have to adopt it. Then they're going to have to decide if Black Road is is one that should be upgraded, um, or you know, and that's still the it, guidelines that we're going by now. That that's the uh, class class four road policy that's in effect right now. Right. That the select board has the right to. Yeah. Say how wide, how much, who can, who can't. Exactly. And they've right. done that. We we know that it's already adopted that. We yeah. just felt it was a little bit vague and could be discretionary, whereas this, I feel, it promotes development. You know, it, does, it makes it so that... I think it answers a lot of questions for the future. Not right. only the Black Road, but, but right. everywhere. Yes. You know. Um, so this is the first printing. And I guess I'm looking for the board, your suggestions. Should we add something else that you're thinking? Should we? Well, I like to take 
obviously you may not be ready, but I mean yes, it's... Because, um, I'd like to take and uh, look at the, I'm trying to think of um, the other uh, roads and whatnot that we might take and have to uh, have people come in and want us to upgrade them. And one of them is uh, Brown's Mill. Well, and one thing that is here, and I don't know what you you notice that I put it's incumbent on the property owners to bring that to incur the cost to bring it up. Yeah. And, but that is up to the board. They have the discretion to wait. Right, that, and, and that's in the old policy where the board yeah. has a discretion on whether the town would just go there and right. hold those wider or right. so that's nothing to new. Me, yeah. A lot of this was the fact that we just like when like Black Road was in, was like a permit was just issued. Yeah add another dwelling, so is that, we're in here, um, see, the, I put that, that see, yeah, permitted development, yeah, I which did. is, to me, that's, and one of the things I think we need to do is have, you know, uh, figure out the traffic pattern on, on how many cars and, and, say, an individual house might produce, how many passes a day, mm -hmm. so we have an idea of what the, what the travel is, and also, um, we could get that, I think, from the regional planning, car trips and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Because the thing here is, is that, as far as from a public safety standpoint, is we need to have an idea as to uh, state recommendations on width as far as, uh, you know, um, trips per day. What I was also hoping was that there would be a little better communication. This is no one's fault. This is just the way it is. Oh, yeah. But a little better communication between the between the DRB and the select board as far as people coming in to develop on Foxport. You know, and that's what I was going to bring yeah. up too, because yeah. the DRB already has a requirement for width. Right. So it needs to be a little... You know, so I think that the policy should follow what the DRB board suggests. Don't you agree if you have a policy on one... It would like, be nice like, if you agreed with each other. Well, exactly. Yeah. You know, I always have yeah. uh, Bob come in. You know. So I, I guess... This was the first blush. These are some things that I'm thinking that really probably should just be looked at, and I just wanted yep. to talk to you about. Well, okay. Anything else on that, Dana? And that's that's all I have. Nope. Yeah. Uh, and I do have your your um, other fire letters and things like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you're going to contact me, or I'm going to contact you. Keep coming every week to find out. <laughs> well, you're always welcome. We'll probably because I have a, I have a signed lease already for that apartment to be filled. Yeah. So I understand. Yeah. yeah. But it it will be probably next meeting. We'll be talking talk about, about it next week. So it's if you're welcome to come or talk yeah. to me, and no, I'll tell you. No, you know, when I just came to see what was going on because you know I'm. It's, well, that's <coughs> that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Yeah. We're nice. To, it's nice to have a member of the public. <laughs> the uh, oh, Ben's dead. <laughs> liar. Oh, I never would. <laughs> okay, so, um, so we have nothing more on that. Then. That's Did all. Did you make a copy of that, Dan? And you wanted to take an hour? Um, get it didn't I give it to you? I think I might have given it to you already. All yeah, right, thanks. <laughs> right, have a good night. Thank you. Uh, signatures for signatures yes. for B Trans Road Mileage Certification. Speaking of highways. Um, we have not added anything in the past year, and this is an annual um, letter that we receive from BTRANS so that they can determine how to reimburse us for our stipend. I have checked the box that we have not added any roads, and I'm asking the board members to sign it. And um, if I could have that, why don't I do that next month? Because I only have next meeting. Because I only have two of you, and Flo can't sign over the phone. And I can't. Yeah. Can I make a motion to give him the authorization to sign for the board? Um, this is one that needs you have to call. Yeah. yeah. So is, what does that do? Twentieth of February. And our next the meeting. Twentieth of this month. Yeah. Yes. So, um, or maybe you'd be willing to sign now, and maybe I could talk Flo into stopping in. Absolutely. So, basically, it's just saying it's the form that you do every year. Okay. Uh, motion on this? 
Yeah, and we moved to approve the uh, mileage, certification. mileage certification that Dana presented to the board. Can I second the motion? Okay, and all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed, motion carries. And we'll see here. Okay, so signatures for the appointment to the Conservation Commission? Yes. And I'd like you to sign this and maybe I can convince at the same time when Flo comes in to sign the other, she could sign that. That's You've already um, made the motion to appoint Sister Laurie and Steber to the Conservation Commission. Okay. So just need signatures now? Yes, please. Both of those documents and any others being on the 13th. Okay. Okay, so we are Thank skipping you. right along to recommendation from Public Works Board regarding sewer improvement project. Yes, the Public Works Board um, has meant, and I have given you a copy of the letter. I have the one that's signed by Rob Allen, the chair. Um, they have uh, they re they opened up six qualified bids at their meeting. And Otter Creek, their engineer, took them back and did all their tabulations, which I have. Um, if you have nothing better to do than to go through these, um, <laughs> but that's why you pay engineers to to do that. Um, they have recommended um, that the bid be awarded to the lowest bid, which is Du Bois Construction Inc. for. A um, one million nine hundred fourteen thousand two twenty five um, with construction to begin as soon as possible in 2020 this your approval is contingent upon the approval of the USDA um, and also to get that USDA approval I need you to vote on which bank we're going to use as far as the um, interim financing Tonight. Why not? <laughs> All right. It's only money. So what I need here, uh, how much was the bid? It's uh, a million nine fourteen. Two twenty-five. Originally, we had the project set for two million two hundred thousand. That's what the voters gave permission to borrow for the project. Um, obviously, there's always contingencies that we're not going to know about. And I might also note, um, Wayne Lamberton owns a portion of Du Bois Construction Company, and he has resigned from Public Works Board because of this. He resigned instead of accusing himself? Accuse himself? Well, he has to. Yeah, because, because of the, the USDA regulations. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, I got that. You have the same letter, just yeah. yeah but we need that. We need to approve up to two point two million, right? I would think, just because there's going to be something. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on the bank? Are we going to do it all in one big motion? <laughs> well, I I would. Let's do the uh, let's do the bank separately. Okay. Okay. So I move that we approve the recommendation for the Public Works Board. Uh, from the Public Works Board for the uh, Payne Turnpike Sewer Improvement Project. To be granted through Du Bois, yeah. To the Du Bois construction contingent on USDA approval in an amount of up to $2.2 .2 million. I second that motion. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, let's see here. And now we come to the bank, and we have one bank at what, 2.2 percent? We have um, two banks that are in the community bank, NA. Community, yeah, community bank, comma, NA is 1.85 percent. Again, these are both lines of credit, so we're not borrowing the money all yep. at once. Um, 
and we also have Community National yes. Bank at 2.05. Um, community Bank, comma, and A, which has different names. Um, they actually are the bank that we do most of our banking with, so we know them. And we've also done a lot of business with Community National, so they're both good oh, banks. I thought it was the other way around. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, so Community Bank NA is the, the, the financial institution that she said was fantastic. Diane said it was fantastic. She was, both of them are. I mean, Community National Bank is great too. We've had very good luck with Community National. We've borrowed money for trucks and we've had our other water fund went through Community National Bank. They've been extremely receptive. Okay. And Community so, National is quick to just They're very quick. Fund, you yeah. Know. Um, I like Community National. Well, I like them both. I mean, right. I, so have we done a finance a project like this with Community Bank? Ever? Not, not that. You know, we we're not this type of loan. Right. We're That's financed a vehicle, but we haven't financed where we draw. Although I have no reason to think that it would be a problem. Yeah. Different, yeah. How long do you think any of that? So what we're looking at is uh, is four thousand four hundred dollars between the two over a year. Probably about but that. It's not even going to be that because it'll be three months in. Yeah. Months yeah. In. yeah. It, I, I think the amount is is negligible. Yeah. So if we so dealt with both, I'll entertain a motion. Well, it's still four thousand dollars. I know. I know. It's four thousand. It's four thousand. So and she didn't. Diane really didn't have a preference with either bank, did she? I mean, I don't think either. Of them do. So no. I'm. Um, I move to. Uh, Approve the bridge loan with Community Bank NA at one at a maximum of one point eight five percent financing. Yeah. I second that motion. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, okay. Thank you. I suppose for clarity here, Dana. Um, so the all right. transcriptionist doesn't get upset. I have to vote on these. When I say the motion carries, it's considered it happy considered vote to have three, four. Yes. Yes. Please explain that to her. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to have to cross the transcription. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Special event application, Ironwood Adventures. Yes. Ironwood Adventures, and you approved a former event that they held, and this is, they begin, it's a race, and they start over at Norwich University in Northfield, run over Payne Mountain, run around um, uh, Berlin Pond, and run back over Payne Mountain back to Norwich. Um, their event last year, there was no issues at all with it, and so I have... Any input from the police chief? N and he has no... Okay. ...concerns. Okay. Any comment? I move to approve the special event permit application from Ironwood Adventure Works, LLC. Um, what's the date of it? It is... Uh, July event on July 11, 11. 2020. I second that motion. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, motion carries. And that one gets signed by the chairman. The bottom right. The bottom right. trailer at the town garage, Winterset Nitrans. Winterset Construction has approached us um, for permission to, they're going to be doing the project for the exit 7 and Crosstown Road Bridge Redeck project. Um, that's going to start later this year and they're asking the town if the town would allow them to place a work trailer at the highway department. So that's their office trailer? Yes. 
and they've talked to the highway superintendent, and they have a place that would be out of the way. They would take care of having Green Mountain Power give them a drop for electricity that wouldn't be on ours, and um, it shouldn't affect us. Do we need to have uh, some uh, form of, uh, of their liability insurance? I think it would be a great idea. On record? Yeah. yeah. So I guess I'm just asking, I, I didn't see anything wrong with it. I think the liability insurance is a good idea. Um, but I'm just asking for the board's thoughts on it and if you would be amenable to it. Well, I see no problems with it. Probably should have a motion. <laughs> All right, I move that we allow the winter set construction work trailer to be parked over at the town garage um, for the two projects they have going on um, with their own electrical drop and proof of liability insurance. Your second. I second the motion. Any further discussion? Those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, approval of select board minutes. Now these minutes, uh, you did not get those until today, so if you're not ready to approve them. Well, I'm um, just wondering if it would be better to have people here. You know, and probably because of, um, it might be better to wait till the next time. There are the January 16th meeting, which was a regular meeting, and then the January 20th meeting, was which... There any, was there anyone absent at those two? Um, the January 16th meeting, everyone was here, um, okay. select board member Capron was via telephone, and the January 20th meeting, select board member Capron was not here. I'm fine with approving the January 16th of 2020 minutes, if everyone else is, I just would add um, the suggestion to include Diane and Kim's last name. Other than that, I'm, I'm ready to approve that one tonight. Is that a motion? I make the motion that we approve the select board minutes on January 16th of 20, <coughs> the addition of last names for Diana and Kim. I second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. And then these, this other minutes were just that special meeting for the uh, town report. Right? Yeah, the warning. That was just a, yeah. I'll move to I'll, I'll move to approve the minutes from the board meeting on January twentieth. And I second that motion. Did you make any spelling errors, Dan? I'm sure I didn't. <laughs> all right, any, any further discussion? <laughs> if not, all those in favor? All right. Aye. Motion carries. So that takes care of all. We're all cop on minutes now, man. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. We we'll get yes. there eventually. Yeah. Um, okay. We'll go back to the approved licenses, permits, vouchers, and applications. Uh, I move to approve general funds accounts payable warrant number two zero G. 14 with checks 19929 to checks 19972 in the amount of $66,705.58 and payroll warrant number 2-15 for payroll from January 5th, 2020 to January 18th, 2020 in the amount of $42,819.12 and payroll warrant number 20-16 for payroll from January 19th, 2020 to February 1st, 2020 in the amount of $45,528.58. I second that motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, When's Flo going to be back to sign? 13th. Flo is going to be back to 13th, I make believe, sure, right, Flo? Make sure she doesn't send out those. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you should, uh, uh, Diane doesn't send those out until after Flo signs the uh, warrants. Okay. Okay. Because until the signature's on the paper. Right. Mm hmm Okay. But, yeah, I can't, I mean, right. 
I just I, I feel funny about her sending them out and not. Well, she them. doesn't like to. If she, I mean, obviously, if you have approved it, yeah. I mean, you know, it's been approved, but you know, okay. I will tell Diane that. Uh, approval of town. And Dina, I'm actually going to stop in late afternoon on the 12th. I'll be able to get there before you close. Okay, that is a Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. Great. Thank you. Town administrator's report, Dana? I don't have very much for you. Just that reminder that I've already snuck in there. February 11th is a um, the event at the hospital at 1 o'clock. It's the governor presenting um, the community municipal planning grant. We're one of the recipients, and so they're going to do it here. Are you in there? I am. Okay. Yeah. The 11th. What's Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm not busy, I'll try to make it. Okay. I'll be out of town, otherwise I'd love to be there. Okay. You'd want to have a few words of wisdom. Yeah. What? You want to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, round table, Justin. Nothing. Blow? Nothing this evening. Thank you, though. I have nothing. Uh, executive session date? No, not tonight. Move to adjourn. Do I hear a second? Second. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. We're, Aye. we're adjourned.